How you doing friends? Welcome back. My name is Rick and this is Winders Ranger. The last video that I put up I uh, talked about the lights that I replaced up in the front bedroom and the astute observer in the video would have noticed the little wire connectors that I used uh, in a couple of the photos there. So I thought I would show or talk about those wire connectors and I can he I'm here to tell you those things are when it comes to wiring anyway are life changing. I, I really like them. Having been the user of, uh, you know, just regular standard wire nuts or butt crimps where you have the, the little plastic tube with the metal crimp in the center and you stick both ends of the wire in, you got to crimp it down. These things, you don't have to do any of that. So let me, let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what we're talking about. I also have uh, an un uninstalled extra light that I used up in the bedroom. I'll also show you that, show you how it functions and how it how it was installed. So uh, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, here you go. They are called Wago Lever Nuts. <laughs> so, um, this one is uh, two wire, three wire, and what is this? Three, four, five wire. So, as far as I know, they're good for both AC and DC, but don't hold me to that. I would suggest you uh, do your own research um, as far as what types of uh, applications these are for but the way they function see if I can do this with one hand here should have opened them up before I started the camera all right yeah, probably not here hold on so I can't get this to focus on the table because it's trying to get the print on the box but uh, this is a two wire lever nut you can see the wire goes in this end so say this is your say you're dealing with the uh, the positive wire so one positive in you get one positive out and they've got the two little levers on there they're pretty uh, pretty stout construction so it's not uh, not cheesy plastic that they're using but these little levers you can see I've got them pulled up right now once you put the wire in there just snap one down and it holds it in place get the other wire in snap it down hold it in place now, I'm not 100% sure that you can put wire that's not stripped, uh, you know, where you, you strip the tip of the wire. I don't think these will cut the wire in so it, it makes the connection. I think you still have to strip the wire. Um, but, you know, the tip of the wire, you can see the little metal portion in there. So as long as it's stripped back far enough, that's probably, let me get a good look at it here. Uh, it's about a quarter of an inch roughly this little metal tab on the bottom and it it holds the wire in nice and secure you don't have to worry about it pulling out if you're at all concerned and I, I don't think there's any reason to be these are pretty stiff but if you're at all concerned especially in an RV application where this goes down the road that this might open up at some point on its own you can always wrap a little bit of electrical tape around the back of it there to hold that closed if you really needed to but I don't think it would be necessary I don't think there's any danger of that pulling out now they make these for different gauge wire and obviously they make them with uh, different numbers of wires so two three and five and uh, you can see it tells you what gauge wire it's good for here and it also shows in the picture how far you need to strip the wire back to uh, make the wire usable inside the wire nut itself but the nice thing about these say when I when I was talking in that video about the installation of the lights if you get the wires reversed or something's not quite right you just open that back up pull the wires out you can flip them around reuse them and close them back up and they're good to go for another application so I, I, I really don't see uh, any downside to these personally I uh, haven't used them for very long so I can't really speak on any issues that they might have but so far I can tell you these are way easier than using standard butt crimps or, or even just regular wire nuts simply by having that little lever on there that's super handy so here's the light that I used you can see uh, the LEDs are inside of here it's got a nice um, frosted look to it so you don't actually see the LEDs inside there that uh, uh, as they light up I've, I've, I got a couple different version of lights and I wasn't sure what I was going to go with and I ended up going with this because it had the the most normal incandescent look to it versus some of the other lights that uh, that I tried 
Oh, on the back, you've got the two wires. You've got your positive and your negative. They're already pre-stripped. And you've got the, the springs on the side here that hold this light up into place. It's roughly, having some issues with my focusing here, it doesn't want to focus. It's roughly uh, about a half an inch thick, I would say. So whatever you mount it in has to be thinner than what this is, otherwise these springs might not function correctly. That was part of the issue that made me use the uh, piece of wood that was installed as kind of a diamond look on the bottom was to kind of make up some of the difference here so I, the springs would hold this tight against the ceiling. But uh, seems like a pretty nice construction. The housing here, it's uh, a metal housing, uh, probably aluminum I would imagine. Nothing super fancy, but it's better than some of the plastic uh, Chinese junk that you see on the markets today. So that was another deciding factor. I, I would kind of like to find something a little bit bigger than this with the same design, but I haven't been able to find um, anything on, on the market yet that's similar to this, but just a bigger size. If I can, I'll probably end up replacing the rest of the lights in the RV with something like this, but I, I, again, I haven't found it yet. So, But there you go. That's the, uh, the light that I used. So the price-wise, I think this was like, I want to say it was in the neighborhood of like $5. I, I'd have to look it up look up the price to see what I paid. I don't remember right off the top of my head. So so just a short little video talking about the wire nuts and the light that I use, the type of light. Um, again, I, I really like those wire nuts. That's a major improvement over some of the stuff that I've had in the past for doing wiring. Um, as far as our, like an automotive application, I, I'm not 100% certain that that's going to work. It probably will. I don't see why it wouldn't. It'd be the same as a butt crimp for the most part. The only real issue that I can see having in, in, an, in an automotive type application would be the size of the wire nut in some of the spaces that you would have in a vehicle where you're trying to wire something in. But other than that, man, that's a major improvement. I just wanted to share that with, with you guys so you could uh, maybe try them out for yourself. And, and if it helps somebody else, then uh, mission accomplished. So. so there you have it, the wire nuts and the light. I appreciate you watching. If you would, hit that subscribe button down below. That helps out a lot. And uh, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. So we will see you all on the next video. Take care.